Well, hello students. This is uh, video number two, an example on how to do work. Watch it very carefully. Find the work done by F, there's a force. Find the work done by friction. Find the work done by gravity. Find the work done by force normal. Before you start, go back and get your free body complete. What pulls down? Mg. Mass is 2 kilograms. 2 times 9.8, it's a 2, is 19.6 newtons. What pulls back? This way. Force of friction. This is my force normal. And there's my force F. Now be careful. I want to make sure that I want to use work correctly. Work is a dot product. Dot product means F cosine of the angle, which really means the force acting in the x direction. So force acting in the x direction. From the concept, you do work, you want force and the distance in the same direction. There's your force, I mean there's your distance. Force is this way, you want the force acting this way. You want to have the component of force acting this way to draw your components in. There's Fx, there's Fy. Let's compute these. Fx, there's the angle. That's adjacent to the angle. Adjacent's cosine. So we have 20 cosine 60, which is 10 newtons. This is 10. Newtons. Then Fy is opposite the angle. Opposite is always sine. This is going to be 20 sine 60, which is 17.3 newtons. This is 17.3 newtons. Before you go on, be careful. I know mg, mg is 19.6. 19.6. There's Fx 10. There is force normal, force Fi, 17.3. I don't know force normal, but I do. 19.6 down, 19.6 up. There's no acceleration in the Y. This has to be 19.6. No. This is up, this is up. This must be 2.3. Why? 2.3 plus 17.3 is 19.6. There it is. Now, I don't know friction. Let's go find friction. Let's go over here. Force of friction. There's two of them. One is static. Static friction. Force of friction is mu static force normal. This is 0.3. Force normal is 2.3. 2.3. Is that about 0.7? There's your force of friction. Also kinetic. Kinetic is friction mu kinetic force normal. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times force normal. 2.3. That's 2.3. And that gives you 0.46. Now we stop and think. This is kinetic friction, 0.46. This is static friction. You're going that direction. Can 10 overcome the static? Yes, it can. Therefore, it starts to move. Start to move, friction goes from static to kinetic. This is now 0.46. Okay, is that clear? Now we can go ahead and do all the works. Work. As a concept now, work means how much you act in the same direction. That'll work, or I can say force in the x times x times x. That's force x, 
cosine of the angle. That'll work, but F cosine theta is this. You want to know how much force is this direction? This force times that distance. This is 10 times 6. You get 60 joules. There is your work done by that force. You want that force and that distance. You want the force in the same direction as the distance. Find the work done by friction. Work done by friction. That's the force of friction times distance. Cosine of the angle. Now be careful here. Force of friction is 0.46. The distance is 6 meters. And the angle is angle between these two. There's your distance. There's your force of friction. Angle is 180. So 180, cosine of 180 is negative 1.46 times 6 is 2.76. This is 2.76 joules. But it's negative. Why negative? Because the cosine of 180 is a negative 1. That's a negative work. 0.46 times 6. 0.46 times 6, angle is cosine 180. Back over here, look at it carefully. When I was doing this, the angle between these two is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So because that zero is one, therefore this stays as fx times x. So this angle here is zero between these two vectors. This angle is 180 for these two vectors. One more. Gravity. Work done by gravity. Force of gravity times distance. Cosine of the angle. Well, the force of gravity is 19.6. The distance is 6. And the angle between this and this is 90. And the cosine of 90 is 0. 0 joules. There's no work done by friction. It works this direction. Again, remember the dot product. How much one vector is in the other vector's direction. This is y. This is x. There's no y in x. Therefore, no component this way for y. Or by the angle. The angle is 90. Between there is mg. There is 6. Distance and mg is 90. Look at my force normal. Force distance, cosine of the angle. Force normal is 2.3. 2.3 times 6, cosine of 90. Again, this is 90. There is the force normal, there's the distance. That's 0 times this gives you 0 joules. Before we stop now, you do dot products. It means how much one vector is in the other vector's direction. For the force, you want this times this. That's positive work. For friction, you want this one times friction. These are opposite. Therefore, the angle is 180. That gives you a negative work. This one for gravity. Gravity is here. There is your force. I mean, there's your distance. That equals 90. How much of this is in this direction? None. So there's no component of vertical in the x, or the angle is 90. Zero. And same with force normal, the angle is 90. There's no component this direction from force normal. Anyway, there's an example. Play the homework. I'm done. Bye-bye. <laughs>